So I got this uh, 2006 uh, Briggs Model 10L uh, push mower engine here and the, the deck on it was rotted out. It's the worst one I've ever seen. I've got a 1973 that's like mint compared to that. But anyway, because it was rotted out, it was blowing grass all over the motor and the uh, top cover here had a whole bunch of grass almost blocking it all. And like there's there's the mound I've taken out uh, from around basically this whole area here by the magneto. I, I left some of it in and then I removed the little uh, sheet metal cover there. And as you can see, the, the fins are totally blocked. And they're also blocked up here on the head. So this motor had to be seriously uh, overheating. And that may have had something to do with why it ended up at the scrapyard. But uh, anyway, it just goes to show you why you need to uh, clean the cooling fins on these uh, motors. If you want them to last any amount of time. I understand this one's 15 years old and... Most of this probably happened in the last couple of years when the deck rotted out, but uh, still, uh, like I say, I've got a 1973 Briggs, and y you have to clean them every I don't know, five years, whatever. It depends how dusty and gra you know light grassy your conditions are there, but I mean you, you you can't get any airflow through there, like so. Basically, the engine can overheat, and you can score the cylinder wall. So, and it'll shorten the life of your oil also. So, tear the top cover off and getting this uh, bottom cover off is a little tricky. Sometimes I just kind of spring it out and blow compressed air through the fins and have a little screwdrivers and stuff. But you have to clean the cooling fins on these. And then over here too, see there's absolutely nothing getting through to cool the, the valves off. So... Lots of fun. They, but these motors, they will pay you back if you spend a little time uh, maintaining them, you know, changing the oil, etc. Um, you'll get years of service out of them. So it's well worth it. So upon closer inspection of this 2006 Briggs, I think I found a contributing factor to its arrival at the scrapyard. The intake manifold is uh, broken. I don't want to break it right in half, but you can see there. Oh, oh, I just broke it right in half. So that would be a JB weld repair. So it would uh, allow it to run lean by sucking air in there. It didn't take much to break it in half, that's for sure. Yeah, so I'm thinking that uh, played a big part in uh, what was happening to it, as well as overheating from all of the extra crud there. The other thing I noticed... The uh, crankcase vent tube's loose. Now I had a 2006 last week that had the same problem. That's because it's like a quarter turn from being tight. So I don't know if anybody knows what thread clocking is. Um, basically this thing tightens up at a certain point. You can't get another three quarter turn out of it. So you'd have to clock the threads you know start the threads at a certain point on the tube to get them to lock where you want them to and uh, I guess the other option will be uh, some type of sealer uh, where it meets the engine block but it's almost like they used to do that and then they stopped doing it or messed it up because the tubes not tight the one last week was leaking so bad that the engine was totally disgusting so anyway just a few things I've noticed on these 2006s in particular. So I pulled the cylinder head off this motor and uh, there are indications it was running hot. See how nice and clean the exhaust valve is? Well, there's one of those tiny little red spiders that bite. Probably can't see it. It's like extremely tiny. They do bite. Uh, okay. Yeah, so the cylinder head also spark plug look at the spark plug nothing on the electrode it's totally clean so between running lean and having plug cooling fins this thing was probably running very hot you see this area here how it's the carbon's burned off it probably due to heat like I say it's, it's 
It's also got some weird, like, you know, the carbon is flaked off there some places. Just when I pulled the head off, I just had the impression it was it was hot. Yeah. It's also got some funny these motors. I don't know what to think. Funny grooves on the cylinder there. I'm not concerned about them, but I just don't recall seeing anything like that on the really old Briggses. Just on this newer stuff. Anyway, just uh, put her back together there without the intake manifold. Like I say, I'll repair it with JB Weld. So this might be a little out of sequence in the video. I got the motor back together here, but I figured out uh, why the intake manifold was broken. It was because this bolt that holds the gas tank was not there. The hole was full of uh, crud. I didn't notice when I was taking it apart. So yes, you have to have that bolt. Back in the old days, you could get away without it because the intake manifold was steel and it would take it. But obviously the plastic ones won't. The only other bolts right down here big half inch head on it so with that with the front bolt missing the gas tank sagged and would bounce and uh, broke the intake manifold so you have to have both bolts in 